Gemini is rolling out to Google Forms, so let's have a look at what it can do. This will not be coming to all editions of Google Workspace. So here's an overview of the editions that will get access to this new feature, and hopefully down the line, this will roll out to even more versions. Now, if you are one of those that are on that list and you have access to the full edition, then this is what you can expect. When you open a new form, many ways to do that, you can go to forms.google.com or simply type forms.new and this will create a new Google form. You are prompted with this Gemini welcome. You are given some examples there that you can use or you can start prompting by yourself at the bottom. Now, if you want to include some files, you can do that as well by simply using the at symbol. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to start afresh. So here is my interface. At the top, I have a new button, help me create a form. I'm going to click on that and that opens that window. Here at the bottom, I can describe the form I would like. I'm going to organize a trip and I have a trip letter. So I'm going to do that. Um, let's create a trip form to collect parent responses for upcoming trip. And I'm going to type the at symbol because I'm going to now search my files and I'm going to search for the trip file. And there we go, I have a year one letter to the turtle sanctuary. So that is where we're going. I'm not giving it any more context. It is going to pull the context from that letter and then it's going to create the form. So let's go ahead and click on create. Gemini is now going to optimize the structure, read the letter and gather all the information it needs. Here you can see it has at the top the consent form, the title, it says please consent. This is a year one trip as part of our amazing animals topic. It's taken that information straight from the letter. You can see the children then select their class. This is a drop down. There are four classes in that year one. These are the names. It is taking that again from that trip letter, saving me a lot of time, not having to manually put this in. Then it asks for the guardian or parent's full name, contact number, email address. Do you give consent? Does your child have any allergies or medical condition the school should be aware of? If yes, please provide. I confirm that I have applied sunscreen, just as a polite reminder, and some comments or questions for the year one team. If I am happy with this, I can click on create form. If it didn't quite get things right, as you know, AI can make mistakes. We can always click on try again. However, I'm very happy with this. So let's go ahead and click on create form and I am going to insert and replace the content. My form is ready. The information is there. All I had to do was get that letter prepared and then get the AI within Google Forms, which is Gemini, to pull the information from the letter and push out this form. You can use this for a number of different purposes. You can add in files that have your curriculum content. Maybe you're adding in a booklet of a unit that you've discussed and you are creating a pre and post test based on that booklet. This is an incredibly powerful platform to have. It is going to save you a lot of time. Don't just rely on this. Do go in and check and always double check everything, even triple check. It is AI, it makes mistakes, but what an amazing time saver. This is sadly not available to the free versions of Google Workspace for Education, but if you are one of these editions, then you have access to this right now. I hope you found this video helpful and the updates that I keep bringing to you. If you'd like to join our growing community, you can click on the join button to become a channel member, or you can also join us on Patreon and then you get access to many of these files as well as these videos completely ad free within the Patreon platform. Thank you to the current channel members and Patreon supporters. You make it possible to keep making new content each and every week. Everyone else, in the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.